those poor friends here with Dobby Dog, as you can see, right here. Or you may not be able to see, so do apologise because I've got a light there and I've got the window open. Uh, window, the curtain's open, but it's actually hammered down rain. I wanted to do this outside, but I can't. So I'm going to do a different one. So this is my Nintendo, but this is my Nintendo around the house. There is so much Tinder you can find around your home. It is unreal. Yeah, like I'll give you an example. Big example. 100% pure cotton towels. That's the biggest example if you think about it. That's a fact shit. Yeah? Just imagine how much charcoal you can make out of that. So, there's things like that. There's... Like... Cotton... Tea towels. Jeans. Cotton t-shirts. My sleeping bag right now. And this is the big one. Not many people will think of. But we do have in this country. I don't know about in America or Canada or anywhere else in the world. But in the UK, you have Hessian shopping bags. These make great fire starters. Like great start to, uh, easy to start a fire. Um, everybody already knows the Victorian jelly. And... Cotton balls, but they're in the house. So why wouldn't you use? Why wouldn't you have them? Yeah, hand sanitizer. Look at that. Um, Vaseline. Same thing as um, Victorian jelly, but completely different. There's so much Tinder around this around your house. Is on Like, I keep old pairs of jeans which got rips in them. I don't keep I don't keep every single pair. I just keep maybe the odd one. Yeah, so that's one pair of jeans. Yeah, but that makes so much char cloth. In its own will. Pa personally, me personally, this is my opinion. I do not want to go out and take my bag out. What's here? As you can see, it's here. I don't want to go out. And say, oh, I need some char cloth. Oh, I need some. T oh, I need to make some char cloth because I haven't got none of this. I ain't got none of that. So I've got to whip up my t-shirt. Or I've got to do this. I don't wear a cotton t-shirt. I don't wear them. when I'm outside. I don't wear my cotton t-shirts. I only take my wear my cotton t-shirt when I'm when I'm in public when I'm surrounded by people or with people. Yeah. I guess here it's not 100 percent cotton. Yeah. I normally wear. Things like that, but me personally, I will not want to destroy stuff. I need to survive just to make charcoal, off. or just to just to have get a fire going. Because you don't need to use cotton. To, you don't need to just charge cotton to make fire. If that makes any sense to you, you can do other things with it. You can even go into your first aid kit and get stuff out your first aid kit. To make a fire, because there is so much stuff in that first aid kit to help you. Yeah, I don't want to purposely go out and go and grab things like, like my cotton bananas. Excuse me. Yeah, I don't want to just automatically go all oh, that that just gone there. I don't want to do that. Yeah, I will have have things I know I can grab, get to, and use. Yeah. In a survival situation, yes, some of this stuff may be gone, but 99% of this stuff, I'm showing you, won't be. You can't tell me someone's going to take a whole bath sheet like that. Yeah, me personally, if I was in a survival situation, the first thing I'd do, yeah, is look for bath sheets, cotton bath sheets, or 100% cotton bedding. Right, I'm going to leave it there because uh, this is just going to go on too long else. But that's my point. There is stuff around your house you can pick up automatically. Anybody who says they're not a prepper, they can get things organised straight away within a matter of 10 to 15 seconds of being around their house. So, I'm going to leave you there guys. Thank you for watching. Enjoy and see you in the next one guys. Thank you. Bye.